Now it's time to assemble and paint the rocket, but first it needs a nose cone. I designed one in CAD that matched the electron shape and then I printed it out. Links to these files are in the description. There's a small hole in the bottom of this nose cone, and that's for the eye bolt that's going to connect to the shock cord and the parachutes. Now grab the Signal R2 flight computer and thrust vectoring mount. We'll disconnect the computer from the thrust vectoring mount because we don't need it for this step. Now we'll grab the bottom half of the rocket's airframe. We're going to insert the thrust vectoring mount cables first into the bottom. The two odd shaped holes that we cut out earlier are for the servo arms. You can get a good sense of which way the TVC mount should be mounted by looking at them. Now, insert the thrust vectoring mount into the airframe. Once the holes between the airframe and the thrust vectoring mount are in line, use four of the long M3.5 screws to screw it in. We're going to be painting the rocket, and we don't want these extension cables to really get paint on them, so I'm going to take a big piece of blue tape and cover them up. Now we'll grab the body coupler, and this is where some of those labels we made earlier are going to help. We'll find side one on the airframe and the body coupler, line them up, and then insert the coupler. Now you can screw these together using any length of M3.5 screw. After this, we'll repeat the exact same process with the upper section of the airframe. Once again, looking for those labels to make sure it's lined up right, then screwing it in. I intentionally undersized the bottom part of the nose cone just a bit, We'll cover this part with a few pieces of tape to dial in how snugly the nose cone fits on the airframe. Once it has just a little bit of a friction fit, we know we're all set and it's time to paint the rocket. I'm not super good at spray painting, but generally speaking, you want to keep the can around 8 to 10 inches away from the airframe and use short, even strokes. It also helps to do a light and uneven coat before you do the full coat after. You can always add more paint later if it's not heavy enough, but you can never add less. You might notice that I left the thrust vectoring mount in the rocket when I painted it. Paint isn't an issue for the thrust vectoring mount, but it would be for the computer, which is why we didn't leave it in there. Speaking of which, it's now time to add the computer and the piston ejection system into the rocket. We'll take the screws out, separate the airframe sections, and in the next video, we'll put it all together.